Hey guys, this is the other cliff, cliff dwelling, excuse me. So I'm starting off here at the end. I didn't want to interrupt uh, the ranger talking about it. Um, but yeah, so this is actually a bigger cl cliff. I can't say that word cliff, excuse me, cliff dwelling than the main one that you guys are going to see at the end of this. I just want to give you a little taste of uh, what Montezuma Castle has in store. But yeah, so this one, that's actually probably a better view of it. It's the remains of what was the larger portion. So this is used to be, when it was actually intact, um, equivalent to, I believe it was a five-story apartment building, something like that. But anyway, I'm keeping my voice low because I don't want to disturb people. But we're going to go to the other cliff dwelling, which is the first one that you'll see. And yes, I know, I'm whispering. Not a good whisper. Anyway. Oh, it's getting crowded. But yeah, it's a really nice day today. I'm glad I got outside, got some rest. But this whole area, I believe, was inhabited about a thousand years ago. Oh, coming up on people. I'm gonna keep my voice low again. But yeah, here it is. Okay, I think I'm away enough from people. But yeah, this is the primary one that you walk in and see, but it's actually smaller than the other one when it was still intact. Um, but yeah, pretty amazing here. If you guys want to come check it out, you do have to pay. I think it's like 10 bucks, but um, yeah, actually I'll just hang out here so you guys can get a look. But um, if you guys go to Tuzi Goot, you can, you can go see the ruins without paying, but if you want to get into the visitor center, you need to pay. But the one fee is good for both for a week. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.